تو رضا آج جو ہمارا جہاں سے ہم بیسکلی اب لے کے چلنا چاہتے ہیں وہ یہ ہے کہ آف کورس ہم نے ایک بیسک بیسک آئیڈیا آف مینٹالوجی انٹروڈیوس کر چکے ہیں ہم لوگوں کے ساتھ بٹ آئی تھنک ان آڈر فار موسٹ پیپل ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ ہاؤ اٹ فٹس ان ٹو دیئر لائفس وی وانٹ ٹو اسٹارٹ سٹ آف ود اے ویری بیسک کوشچن دین آئی گیس ایوری بڈی آسکس ان دیئر لائف وچ از سم پوائنٹ ان سم پوائنٹ آف دیئر لائف وچ از واٹ از دا پرپز آف مائی لائف یو نو وائی ایم آئی لیونگ مائی لائف اینڈ آئی تھنک آئی وانٹ ٹو اسٹارٹ فرام دیئر دیکھو نا ان کانورسیشن اف یو ور ٹو آس اے کوشچن تو آئی سپوز ون ووڈ سی کہ دا پرپز آف یور لائف از ٹو بی ہیلتھی اینڈ گرو اپ اینڈ ہیو اے کریئر اینڈ ہیو اے فیملی جنرلی اٹس بی ہیپی جنرلی بی ہیپی جو نارمل آئٹمس ہیں یوزفل آئٹمس ریلیشن ٹو مین دیٹ ووڈ بی دی آنسر بٹ آئی ووڈ لائک ٹو ڈیل ود اے کوشچن فرام ڈفرینٹ اینگل اینڈ دیٹ از دیٹ آئی ووڈ لائک ٹو فسٹ ٹرائی ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ وی ڈز اے سینس آف پرپز کم فرام If you are going to have purpose in life, then you must have a sense of purpose. Um, otherwise, you would be looking at a man as a clean slate. And the question would be, what do you want to write on it? Which is not true. So, animals have needs. So, you don't have to go to human beings to discover them. Um, inner needs of an individual animal. In the case of man, those needs become more complex and more elaborated compared to animals. You have not only uh, biological needs, simple biological needs, but in addition, you have a much more developed emotional um, um, uh, function in human beings compared to animals and also a much more mental a much more developed mental process so the emotional and the mental processes produce your needs apart from your natural needs such as going to the loo understood or um, having a glass of water apart from these ordinary things simple things which we share with animals because i think you are interested in focusing on those things which are we don't special share special and specific to human beings absolutely in addition to the animal absolutely need that then um, um, at once um, makes you focus your attention on the emotional makeup of the person and the mental makeup of the person how he thinks and how he feels so it's a question of how do these feelings and thinking ideas they come into being how do they become when a child is born he, he, the child has animal needs and um, But very quickly as the child grows, he develops an emotional, it grows, unfolds, develops the emotional um, makeup of that child. Okay. And keeps growing till he becomes young and adult. So, partly there are genetic programs with which the child is born. They could say. It becomes manifest as it grows, as the child grows. But it comes with the genes. Mm. This which is commonly known as inheritance. Ke ye baap par gaya hai, ye maa par gaya hai, ye naan kum par gaya hai, so on so forth. 
that refers to the genetic formation both in the matter of feelings or desires and thinking which means how um, intellect works but then uh the genetic process is an unconscious process they could say one does not make it consciously it's made at the time of conception and the time of gestation wo genetic permutation combination hote hain feeling us mein to phir uska environment hota hai educated hai ya nahi educated hai aur agar education hai to what kind of education is it hai na there are many varieties of education aur phir ye finally ye ki what environment he has what are the circumstances in which he is growing up and what are his responses now as you grow your genetic structure which you were born with emotional and intellectual they keep getting modified by your environment so by the time the child becomes an adult you can identify what his purposes their purposes become more defined more crystallized emotional as well as intellectual now at this stage i, I would like to point out that emotional needs and formations are more or less a universal phenomenon the growth of the emotion process it varies from individual to individual but the happening is a universal phenomenon the intellectual process is not such a universal phenomenon shall we say that it is relatively optional it depends upon whether the intellect has been growing and developing or not intellect grows only when it in the course of application when you use it only then it grows and then as you determine the direction of its use use usage to that determines how your intellect grows so there is a much greater variation in the intellectual processes in some cases it's totally undeveloped in some cases highly developed and uh, in between so do keep this distinction in mind what i have said so far is about the existing state and it is uh, out of an interaction of the two that the individuals specific emotional purposes are they take shape say the mature what are you, what is your emotional agenda say what are your strong likes and strong dislikes so you your agenda is steered as it forms in between these limits of liking and disliking so that's really a study in mm, mm, partly in genetics and partly in environment a study of the environment environment here typically means social environment and social environment includes the family environment and the um, um, surrounding environment and then the larger environment the context the environment not only determines the direction that an individual formation takes uh, steers it as it were the environment steers the individual formation but it also sets limits uh, what is possible and what is impossible so in making uh, your purposes you avoid what is impossible because generally speaking and very interesting within the realm of possibility you make your choices and the same is true of the intellect 
except that um, intellect is much more optional than the emotional process. The emotion process is much more universal. Okay, I'm so much the intellectual is relatively optional. If there is an intellectual process which is developed in an individual, then there is an interaction between the emotional process yes, and absolutely. the intellectual. Absolutely. Understood. If, if it has and the extent to which the intellectual process, process has developed, to that extent there will be an interaction between the two. Makes complete sense. And that interaction is really of a kind of a merger. The, the emotional processes will steer the have a tendency to steer the intellectual development. And the intellectual processes will have a tendency to influence the emotional processes. Very well said. So that it's is what well I mean sense. by interaction. Then it is a richer life. Obviously it becomes richer. And if it, the intellect is not developed, and the only the emotion process is developed, then it will be a poorer life in terms of purposes. Now then again there is a third factor, another factor, and that is not only environment, but the experience of the, with the environment. Experience the inter within the environment? With the environment. The experience of the individual in his environment. How is that difference from the environment, environment itself? Well, that is um, again the result of an interaction between the individual and his environment. The emotions, or the emotional formation of a person is not 100% uh, fulfilled. It's not a straight line. Okay. That if you have an emotional process and you assume you, uh, that it, 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 the emotional processes will be satisfied in the environment, okay. they will find satisfaction in the environment. Hmm. You can't assume that. Take there is an um, action and reaction between the environment and that. So the experience with the environment essentially is limited to comes in ah. to the extent to which he can interact with the environment yes. is what will yes. determine the experience quite understood right. understood so there are degrees of satisfaction and dissatisfaction success and Very failure nice. emotional success and emotional failure emotional success and emotional failure with respect to the environment yes and that keeps varying from time to time and from individual to individual so you have to look at very interesting, very interesting. individual in detail. Wow. Success and failure produce their own reaction upon the existing emotional formation. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> huh? I, I could never imagine you would put it together like it's so easy, but it's something that we never thought of. But like those that. reactions then. Yeah. Again, modify yeah. the emotional so that's formation. That's the dynamic that is going on and on and on. Wow. Now, the same is true of the intellectual process to the extent to which it has come into existence in the case of a particular individual. As I've already said, it varies greatly, the intellectual. The emotional f formation is much more um, common, but not so the intellectual. Now again, in respect to the intellectual formation, there is a basic intellectual form, which even animals have, intelligence, animal intelligence. So um, in human beings also, there is a basic intelligence. So I'm not using the term intellect for that. I'm reserving the term intellect for conscious and deliberate use of intelligence. Very cool, sir. 
Intellect is the conscious and deliberate use of intelligence. Which means you think about what you are thinking and feeling. Thinking. Feeling. You think what you are thinking about. And that keeps interacting not only with the environment but also with the emotional processes. So you see, it's a bit of a pudding, isn't it? I don't think it's a pudding, Raza, because it's with well, the way you put it, it's very logical and it's it's. I mean, it's not a jumble. No, it's not a jumble. Her. But love, I I always it's complex. It's very complex. I mean, it's complex, but you you seem to have deciphered that complexity, or at least been able to work with it, as opposed to. I mean, if it were a pudding, it will be just. Gobbled by looking at their components, yeah. by looking at their parts, no, I, I have by looking really, at their sequence. Uh, I think the way I followed you, it's, it is really immediately got me on that track of thinking from that perspective. I mean, it was all a matter of just, and to understand this dynamic is 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 uh, it's unbelievable. Well, if you're you not thinking, together. then you have a personality. You just have a personality. Whatever do, um, it is, the way it is automatically formed since childhood to adulthood in your particular environment, you are unintelligently reactive. 